Good day everyone. Welcome to our new set of learning session today, which is all about to tabulate the recorded data relevant to production of processed food. This session is a part one of our week three and four module in food processing. To begin our session today, I want to introduce to you my expectations for the class. Specifically, this lesson will help you to number one, name the methods of recording weight and measurement of ingredients and materials. Number two, convert units of weight and measurement using the different methods of recording. And number three, you have to follow the procedures in converting units of weight and measurement. I have here some few words that you need to understand while we go on with our discussion. Number one, measurement. It is the act of determining the target size, length, weight, capacity, or other aspects. Number two, conversion. It is defined as an exchange from one unit of measure to another. Fahrenheit, denoting a scale of temperature on which water freezes at 32 degrees and boils at 212 degrees under standard conditions. While Celsius is denoting a scale of temperature on which water freezes at 0 degrees in boils at 100 degrees under standard conditions. So remember these four words because you might encounter this in our lesson today. Are you now excited to learn about our lesson today? Let us start. We have here the methods of recording weight and measurement of ingredients and materials. Number one is using abbreviation in recording. We have here the long terms and the short term or abbreviation for our units of measurement. Let us start with the cup, which is C, gallon, gal, grams, gm, kilograms, kj, pound, lb, milliliter, ml, liter, small letter l, ohms, oz, pint or pint, pt, quart, qt, tablespoon, t, b, s, p or big letter t, teaspoon, t, s, p or small letter t. While fluid ohms is FLOC, Fahrenheit is degrees Fahrenheit, degrees big letter F, and Celsius is degrees big letter C. So remember to use this abbreviation in converting the units of weight and measurement to lessen your time in writing the long names of our units of measurement. Second one, we have conversion using grams, wherein one for kilogram is equal to 250 grams, one cup is equal to 250 grams, one tablespoon is equal to 15 grams, one teaspoon is equal to 5 grams and one half cup is equal to 125 grams. We also have one fourth cup which is equal to 62.5 grams. One half teaspoon that is equal to 2.5 grams. One fourth teaspoon is equal to 1.25 grams. And one eight teaspoon is equal to 0.63 grams. Our number three method of recording weights and measurement 
is the basic measurement conversion chart. It is very easy to use. Itinan lang natin dito sa ating table ang equivalent ng bawat isa. Cups, that is equivalent to fluid ounce, tablespoon, teaspoon, and milliliter. So, from 1 cup to 1 16 cup. This equivalent can be used while we go on with our problem in converting the units of measurement. Remember this table. For our number 4 method, oven temperature conversion chart from very low to extremely hot. Very low is from 250 to 275 degrees Fahrenheit, 121 degrees to 135 degrees Celsius. From slow cook heat naman, 300 to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, 149 to 163 degrees Celsius. Moderate heat, 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and 177 to 191 degrees Celsius. Until sa extremely hot, we have 500 to 525 degrees Fahrenheit, while 260 to 274 degrees Celsius. Saan natin ito ginagamit? It is commonly used in baking or in any other recipe that uses oven. And here is our last method of recording weights and measurement. And this chart includes the following. One cup is equal to one half pint. Two cups is equal to one pint. 4 cups and 2 pints is equivalent to 1 quart, while 4 quarts is equal to 1 gallon. On the other hand, 3 teaspoon is equivalent to 1 tablespoon, 5 tablespoon is equivalent to 1 fourth cup, while 5 and 1 half tablespoon is equal to 1 third cup, and 8 tablespoon is equal to 1 half cup. And we have here the approximate liquid measurement conversion factors. It uses the multiplier to get the required unit of measurement. Say for example, we are looking for the equivalent of 4 quarts to cups. We will just simply multiply 4 quarts by our multiplier which is 4 to get the equivalent of cups. Therefore, 4 quarts if multiplied by 4 is equal to 16 cups. That's how we are going to use this approximate liquid measurement conversion factors. We will know more about that as we go on with our examples. Our first problem is 2 cups equals to blank grams. This is the solution. Are you thinking what are we using here? We will use the number 2 method of conversion using grams because grams is needed here. Next, 1 cup is equal to 250 grams. Sir, where did you get that? And why did you include that equivalent in our problem? Because in measurement in conversion, we need to look for the same unit of measurement in our table that we can use to solve our problem. Next, let's cross multiply. But before that, let us cancel first the same unit of measurement. Cancel cups and grams on 250. And proceed to multiplication. 1 times G is equal to G, while 2 times 250 is equal to 500. Let us check if our answer is correct. To check, we will just substitute 
using this solution. We will copy the two cups equals blank grams and one cup equals 250 grams. We will substitute the 500 grams. And let's proceed with our cross multiplication. Using our conversion, using grams, kaya natin ito ginamit na one cup is equal to 250 grams. Cross multiply the same method, cancel, cancel, and cancel the grams also. And the result, if it resulted with the same product, then your answer is correct. And here is our example number two. Blank cups equals four quarts. We will be using the approximate liquid measurement conversion factors here. Let us take a look what is the multiplier to get cups. We have 4. Here is the given. We have 4 quarts and our multiplier is 4. To get the amount of cups to 4 quarts, we will just multiply 4 quarts by 4 and the answer is 16. Therefore, 16 cups is equal to 4 quarts. To check, we will be using the methods of recording weights and measurement on number 5 method. Let's just substitute 16 cups equals to 4 quarts. Sir, saan natin nakuha itong 4 cups is equal to 1 quart? Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, titingnan ninyo sa table of measurement natin kung alin dito sa kanila ang merong kapareho na cups and quart. Tinignan natin dito sa number 5 method. We have 4 cups to 1 quart. Next, proceed with the cross multiplication. Nung sabi ko kanina, if it arrives with the same answer, then our answer is correct. But before that, let us cancel all the same units of measurement. And therefore, 16 equals 16. And our answer is correct. I hope you enjoy these examples. And as we go on with our problems or activity, you can answer those activities. And that ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something a lot. And always remember, in TLE, matututo ka na, kikita ka pa.